Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Atlas Rand, and today I wanted to show you a third type of ring with deep core rocks in them. Uh, and today we're in an ice belt. So let me get the. Uh, let's see if this works. There we go. Get the ping started. And. Let me show you what this one looks like. So this is what a deep core chunk of ice looks like. Uh, am I too far away? There we go. Let's zoom in on it. There we go. So it's kind of a blob of smaller rocks kind of stuck together. Uh, it, it has a lot of bits that come out of it. I would say a little bit like a bell pepper, like the bottom of a bell pepper. Uh, it has these distinct individual pieces or, and I was gonna say pineapple, but this is one chunky pineapple. I think it is more like a bell pepper is the way I would look at it. All right, let's fly around it here. Get some perspectives from a different side. Just so you can identify it. No matter which side you're looking at. And... Now this one seems to be spinning around this sort of central round area, but they're not necessarily all going to spin the same way, even if they look the same way. Uh, but let's see what the other side looks like. Here's the top of it. If the first part was the bottom, this would be the top. Whoop. Bounce off something. All right, and then uh, let me send the prospector out just to confirm that this indeed is a core rock or a chunk of ice in this point. I'm looking for low temperature diamonds to mine here. Let's see what we get. Uh, it's a bromelite core, so it's a totally useless core. But all the core rocks are going to look like this. And if I turn on that window, you can see that it shows up as core in the list on ED Copilot. So if you are seeing that screen for the first time, you're not running ED Copilot, you should go ahead and download it. I'll have a link in the description. It is really good software. I've been making a video about all the different features it has, but I don't know when I'm going to release that video. It's got so many features that it's taken me forever to uh, do a single video about it. So I'm just going to start mentioning it in a lot of different videos because it really helps with mining. It's really nice when you're doing bounties for tracking things and calculating how much money you've made, all that good stuff. It's really good when you're doing engineering for keeping track of your engineering materials. Uh, it'll make a, a loud noise if you start getting attacked. So there's a ton of really useful things it does. In fact, if you're at a station, it'll actually calculate and tell you the best commodities to bring from the station you're at to another station. So uh, very good software. But anyway, that's the rock. Let me... Uh, light it up one more time so i'm gonna basically shoot prospectors at other rocks which will take it off of this rock and then it'll turn yellow and then spin around with it around one more time but this is what the core ice rocks are going to look like Okay, there it goes. No 
So it doesn't really look like a potato, doesn't look like a pear, doesn't look like an egg. Looks like a very chunky kind of, I don't know what that is, <laughs> I really don't. It is a lot more rounded than the other two belt core rocks, but also it is a lot more made of separate little segments that are all kind of stuck together and jutting out of it. This is probably the most rounded part of it back here, but even here you can see that it's made of a lot of small pieces. So if you see this in the nice belt, you'll know what it is, and then you can avoid scanning all the other types of rocks. So that's it. One more to do, guys, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.